What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since we've done a uh, dining review. I uh, kind of out of the gate really quickly brought back the Dairy X Dines. Now we call it Dairy X Dines again. And uh, right after was when the coronavirus hit. We've been getting takeout maybe once a week, once every 10 days, but mainly we've been cooking at home. But it's our anniversary, so we figured we would take advantage of some of the local restaurants offerings. And we're in Niskayuna. One of the restaurants we have is a place called Innovo Kitchen. And I've been seeing online they've been doing a pretty good job. So might as well check it out. We uh, placed an order for takeout and I'm going to go pick it up. Uh, we'll document the pickup process and then take a look at how everything's packed, how the food tastes. I, I, I ordered something that I've had in the past. so. I can, I can kind of compare it. You know, takeout will never be the same as eating in a restaurant. We can't wait to go back to our favorite places, but it is what it is. This is the hand we're dealt. We also ordered a couple of beverages and we're gonna take advantage of that as well and uh, have a nice low key night at home to celebrate our wedding anniversary. So uh, sit back, relax, and take a look at this installment of Dairy X Dines again. I mentioned that we've eaten at Nova before and I'm gonna link down in the description box below to the blog post from our dining experience there. I think it was actually like 2016, 2017. One, it's actually one of the last places that I reviewed before uh, canceling the blog a few years ago when Noah was born. Click that link below and you can see kind of our first run at the restaurant. So I just pulled up to a Novo kitchen and you can see here, it's up here in Niskayuna. And uh, I'm about to, they said the call when I got here, there's really no cars around. The only car I see here is their van. So I'm gonna give them a call and um, I, th I think they're just gonna run run the food out. So you always know there's an owl in your. I'm uh, get this stupid mask off. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm here at uh, Novo, uh, listening to po Tom Green podcast, and they just ran the order out. Actually, uh, I mean, I, I called her and she came right out with it. Um, there's the food. There's our drinks. Gonna go home. We're gonna crack into it. Got the bag with the beverages. Unpack that second, get the bag with the food, we'll unpack that next. We got some really nice to-go containers here. This is the uh, bolognese that Cassie ordered. Looks really good. Salad Cassie ordered for us to share. Burger and fry. I'll plate this up. excited about this because they even have the garnishes. So there's the salt for the margaritas. There's two things of salt. Lime, I guess, for the margaritas. There's my Maker's Manhattan. My Luxardo cherries. Cassie got us, right, she got cranberry pomegranate margarita. Peachy keen margarita. Some more lime. Manhattan and I decided not to shake it. I, I figured they probably shook it already so it's ready to go. I should have probably chilled the glass but I'm looking forward to those Luxardo cherries at the bottom. This is really good. It's really smooth. I love Makers. You can't beat it. And for dinner I decided to get something that I've gotten before and I need to actually read off the menu in order to tell you what it is. So this is the 50-50 burger. It's a Cajun dusted Angus brisket and slab bacon patty with American cheese, candied bacon, bread and butter pickled chips, habanero jam, and a smear of peanut butter. You think on the surface like that that's kind of like stunt food because you know there's uh, bacon in the burger and peanut butter on it. It's like one of those things for Instagram only, but it's, it's really delicious, I'm telling you. And it's definitely not something that you want to eat every day, but it's, it's really good. Oh, I'm gonna start my meal with a little salad, great greens, Roma tomato, cucumber, red onion, crumbled goat cheese, toasted walnuts, maple mustard, balsamic dressing. That sounds good. Nothing fancy, just do something low key. While we can't go out to restaurants, might as well bring the restaurants home. It's not optimal. You don't wanna come home and unpack a burger all the time, but it, it does the job. <laughs> There's something about the 
habanero jam and the bacon and the peanut butter that just works really well together. Like I said, not something you wanna order on a daily basis, but once in a while for your anniversary or for any special occasion, you can eat like this every now and then. So we're finishing up that meal, just cleaned up. Every Everything was really good. When I used to do these dining reviews, I would go into the bitter details of the good, the bad, the ugly. And you know, in this case here, there's really nothing bad you can say. You know, they're they're doing a good job marketing themselves given the circumstances, and you know they're they're still keeping up. They adapted their burger special. They do a Wednesday burger special takeout thing that um, you know I've seen pictures of it. It looks really intriguing. It's something that I'd probably want to try in the future. Takeout is not the optimal situation, but it's really all that that places can do. And I think they did a good job here. I'd recommend Inovo. I mean, it's not a place that we shied away from even when we were able to dine there. We would go frequently to Inovo to eat dinner or lunch or brunch even sometimes. And the ordering was very seamless. You know, Cassie called this afternoon, set up a delivery time, no, oh, sorry, set up a pickup time. And then once it was ready, they said, give us a call. I called and she literally ran right out with the food. So it couldn't have taken any less time. I, I think I, we live five minutes away. So. So we broke into this, we, we finished everything and then we broke into this peachy keen margarita. Read that again. Patron silver with Grand Marnier, fresh lime, and mango juice. Just pour over ice. We can't figure out if the taste in this is peach or mango. It kind of tastes to me like a mango nectar, but why would it be called peachy keen if that's the case? So we can't figure that out. It's, it's completely perplexing. If I had never read that it was mango juice on it, Thing, though I would say it's peach. Yeah, well the thing is those nectars taste very similar. Yeah. So it's it's kind of hard to tell. Like if I had never read that, I would have been now, like, yeah, now, peach. now it tastes like peach to me. Like after, like on the It finish. tasted like peach to me the first, the first time, it, but like I knew it said mango on the menu, menu, so I was like, is it peach or is it mango? Yeah. One other thing I want to say that I don't I don't remember if I said it already, but doing the takeout, obviously I've said it a couple times already, it's not optimal. Like eating in the restaurant is obviously what we want to do. And you know, we really don't want to be taking out the food. But the one thing that is a, is a saving grace, I think, like for places like this, the integrity of the food was still there. Like I can tell basically that everything that normally goes on that burger is the same quality and the same amounts and even more actually. I noticed that they gave me a lot more fries than they usually give me when we eat in the restaurant. And Cassie's pasta dish had a lot more pasta than when you go to the restaurant normally. So they're doing what they can with the resources they have, but they're not taking shortcuts. So, you know, you, you may feel like you're paying for what you would normally pay for an in-restaurant experience, but you're not getting shortchanged at all. That That's kind of, to me, uh, an important thing coming out of this is it, it would be easy for places to take shortcuts and you know the places that don't take those shortcuts are the ones that you want to keep patronizing. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up on it down below. Definitely check out that blog post from back in the day. I'll link it in the description bar below. If there have been any places that you've gone locally or even, even where you are, let me know some of your experiences with some of the takeout that you've gotten during these times. I'd love to hear about it. I'd love to try some new places based on your recommendations. At this point, we're doing what we can. Like I said, we're, we're cooking most of our meals. It's nice sometimes to, you know, sneak out for, for a meal out. And it's, it's great that local places are able to still provide that in some capacity. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that. And make sure you turn that notification bell. It'll let you know when new videos are posted and you'll never know when a dining review is gonna pop up. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have an amazing day.